In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the uh, basics of trigonometry and, and why it actually works. And the concept of trigonometry is based on similar triangles. Uh, we're gonna, just going to be talking about right angle triangles here, but uh, it, it does actually apply to non-right angle triangles as well. So similar triangles, and there's three triangles here, similar triangles have equal angles between them. Now the three triangles that I'm referring to are uh, ABC, so that's the smallest one here, and that's the symbol for similar. Uh, it's similar to triangle ADE, that's the middle size triangle here, and AFG is the largest one, so AFG. And I want to show why these triangles are similar. Um, so this angle right here is the same angle in all the triangles, and I could call it C, A, B in the little one, or E, A, D in the middle one, or G, A, F, G down to A over to F. That's the same angle in all the triangles. And another angle that's the same in all is the right angle. So angle, this would be C, B, A, or A, B, C. Uh, this angle here is the E, D, A angle. And this angle over here is the G, F, A angle. It's 90 degrees in in all three triangles and so there's a pair of equal angles between them so by ang it's called angle angle all three triangles are similar uh, this angle actually is the same in all the triangles but we don't need to go to the third angle because as, as soon as you have two pairs of equal angles between triangles the third one has to be the same because they remember they always add up to 180 degrees so so they're similar now the next thing we're going to do is look at pairs of a uh, ratio of a pair of sides. And uh, we're going to talk about the vertical side divided by the, uh, the bottom side here. And there's always a reference angle, one of the acute angles in, uh, in trigonometry, uh, in right angle trigonometry. So I could have also talked about this angle right here. Uh, but my reference angle is this one here. So when, in, in reference to that angle, uh, I'm going to talk about the side that's across from it, this vertical side, uh, divided by the length of the, uh, the bottom side here. And so in the small triangle, we're dividing the length CB by AB. Sorry, yes, yeah, CB by AB. And so the, uh, we can count here that this is 5 and this is 10. And 5 divided by 10 is 0 0.5. For the middle triangle, the uh, the vertical side would be 8, and the length of the bottom side, the 80 side, would be 16. Notice that 8 divided by 16 is exactly the same. It still works out to 0 0.5 or a half. And for the big triangle, it's 13 divided by 26, and that also works out to exactly 0 0.5. So the ratio of the vertical side to the bottom side is the same for all the triangles. And it doesn't matter how large we scale up the triangle or scale down. Like if I were to draw um, a, uh, a little side right here, then 2 divided by 4 would also be 0 0.5. Or if I made it really small, 1 divided by 2 is still 0 0.5. So for this particular angle, the ratio of the side across from it divided by the bottom side is the same, no matter for that angle how large we scale up or how small we scale down the triangle. And so that's the the idea. And when you hear somebody talking about the sine of an angle or the cos of an angle or the tan of an angle, those are the three trig ratios, primary ones. Um, it's, it's actually the ratio of two sides in some triangle. That's what those sine and cos and tan are, the ratio of two sides. And uh, the, the fact that for that particular angle, um, the, no matter how big or small the triangle is, they're always similar. That's why trigonometry actually works. Now, I didn't want to do this for just one triangle, so here's a, a second example on the second page. And, of course, a very different looking triangle, so I didn't want you to think that, or anybody to think that it only works for that particular triangle. So here's another triangle here. And uh, I labeled them the same as one on the last page. So uh, ABC is similar to A. D, E, and then A, F, G is the, the biggest one, A, F, G here. Uh, 
And again, they're similar because this angle right here, I didn't mark it like in the last one, but that angle is the same in all. So uh, CAB or EAD or GAF, if you look at the triangle, uh, triangles, you can tell that that's, that's the same angle in both, in, in both in all of them. Uh, and of course, they also have a right angle. Uh, angle uh, CBA or ABC is the same as this angle, is the same as this angle. So by angle, angle, they're similar again. And you might notice in both examples here, I'm talking about for this particular angle, the ratio of the side across from it divided by the bottom. Um, trigonometry also uses the length of the hypotenuse. The reason I didn't use the hypotenuse in either of my examples here is because it's pretty hard to count how long that is. Uh, for, uh, we're on the grid paper here, so you can count that this is six and this is four. It's pretty hard to determine exactly how long that is, so that's why I didn't use an example with a hypotenuse, but trigonometry still does use hypotenuse in, in, in actually two of the three trig ratios. So uh, the, in the little triangle ABC, the, the ratio of the BC side to the AB side, it would be six over four. And in the middle triangle, the one across from this angle would be 15, and the bottom is 10, so it would be 15 over 10. And the big one, the, the across side, across from this angle over here, is the 21, and 14 in the bottom. And all those ratios reduce. Uh, if we divide this by 2, top and bottom, we get 3 halves. Divide this one by 5, we get 3 halves, 3 over 2. And divide this one by 7, we get 3 over 2. And of course, if you want to divide 3 by 2, you get 1.5. So the ratio of the um, vertical side across from the angle divided by the bottom if for this particular angle is, is the same for all the triangles. So since the, and I meant, I said this in the last page, but I'm going to write it here. Since these triangles are similar for this, however big this angle is here, it doesn't matter how large you scale up the triangle or how small, like if I drew my little line here to make this little tri triangle, this would be three divided by two, again, same ratio. Then the ratio of those two sides is always going to be the same. So again, to summarize, Trigonometric ratios, sine ratios, cos ratios, tangent ratios, they're ratios of sides for similar triangles. So when we're talking about a particular angle, it, um, it doesn't matter how large we have that triangle or how small, the ratio of those two sides, whichever ones we're talking about, will always be the same. And so that's how and why trigonometry actually works. Okay, so when we get into sines and coses and tans, they're actually just ratios of a pair of sides in triangles. And that's the end of the tutorial.